So we are following developments in the Middle East this morning as Israel's war cabinet considers its response to Iran's attack. A senior U.S. official tells CBS News that Israel is not sharing its plans with the U.S., but said some within the administration expect Israel to launch limited strikes inside Iran. Iran launched hundreds of missiles and drones towards Israel Saturday in response to a strike on its consulate in Syria earlier this month. Meanwhile, the White House is warning it plans to punish Iran with new sanctions. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said in a statement the sanctions would target Iran's missile and drone program and entities supporting the Islamic Revolutionary Guard and Iran's defense ministry. And this comes as Secretary of State Antony Blinken meets with G7 foreign ministers in Italy today. The volatile situation in the Middle East is likely to dominate those talks. Our MTS Tibe is following the latest from Tel Aviv. MTS, good morning. And Marina, good morning to you. Well, as we wait to see just what Iran is going to do following that extraordinary assault just over the weekend in which we saw Iran launch over 300 drones, crews and ballistic missiles at Israel. The first time Iran has carried out a strike in Israel directly, 99 percent of which we know was taken down not only by Israel's missile defense systems, but through support from the air forces of the U.S., the U.K., and Jordan, Israel's uh, war cabinet, from what we understand, is bitterly divided at how to respond. We understand that the defense minister, Yoav Gallant, wants an imminent strike on Iran, whereas Prime Minister Netanyahu has really been pumping the brakes. What's interesting is we've also seen a poll of Israelis in which 73 percent uh, prefer not striking Iran if it would harm relations with other countries. As we know, President Biden and other countries telling Israel not to do this. Whatever the case, let's not lose sight of what's happening in Gaza. And Maria, over the last uh, 24 hours, 56 people have been killed across Gaza in various strikes carried out by Israel, including on a playground at the al Magazi refugee camp in which 11 people were killed. And the fear so many people have is the horrors that we've been seeing in Gaza over the last six months could spread across the region if Israel and Iran start targeting each other in a very major way. Emory. All right, MTS, thank you.